Flame Solar, we like to design robust, foolproof systems, which is why we include Victron Battery Protects. They come in 65 amp, 100 amp, and 220 amp models. So a battery protect is basically an elaborate switch. It's a MOSFET, which means it is solid state and uses a lot less current to hold closed than a relay, and it's programmable. At AM Solar, we use battery protects for two different reasons. The most common uses the BP65 in our DC distribution kits. The BP65 goes between your loads and your battery to prevent you from overly discharging your battery by accidentally leaving on a DC load too long. For example, if you're camping, you left your fan on, your batteries were kind of low, you weren't getting very good solar, this would disconnect your DC loads from your battery because it measures the battery voltage and disconnects when the voltage gets too low. The other use is the BP100 that is commonly in our uh, lithium kits. The BP100 is used as basically a programmable switch. It requires very little current to operate, so we put it between our charging and discharging sources and it's operated by our V4 control board. For this demonstration, I've connected a BP65 to our battery bank. The in goes to the positive of the battery, and this terminal block that already has the black cable in it goes to the load side of the shunt. This configuration would be for battery protect mode in a DC distribution kit. In this demonstration here, I'm missing a couple parts like the DC fuse block and sometimes we stick a breaker on here but I'm going to show you how to program your system. Uh, the first step is to remove this jumper that pops out and then using a segment of wire, just any kind of wire, I connect one end to the negative side of the shunt, get a negative connection and then I tap right here on the programming port and make a connection. And once I make that connection, it starts cycling through numbers and letters. And I make the connection again, and I, after you make this connection, it should start counting through different options. There it goes, it's counting. I go all the way up to six. And once it gets to six, I disconnect. So it's on mode 6A. 6 is recommended for Lifeline AGM batteries. Then the next step is I want it to be on B. So I connect it again. It cycles A, B. There. So it goes between 6 and B. That means it's programmed correctly to disconnect a load on an AGM battery bank. If you had one of these on our LifeBlue drop-in lithium battery banks, it's kind of redundant because the LifeBlue batteries automatically disconnect anyway when they get too low, but uh, as a backup feature, you would put it on 8B. After you've programmed your battery protect, you put the jumper back in, and in our kits, we take this black jumper wire out and run it to a remote switch, and when that switch is open, all the loads are disconnected. When it's closed, your loads start up again. So it's kind of like an on-off switch for all your DC loads. I hope you enjoyed this video on idiot-proofing your DC distribution system. Happy camping!